Last weekend I took a little hiking trip to the Catskill Mountains, and as every good Yu-Gi-Oh player does, the first thing I was thinking of was, can I find a local card shop around here, or maybe a comic book store? And I actually found a really cool place, so just want to show you guys around the store a little bit and show you what I was able to pick up and of course open some packs. We just arrived outside of Kerwin's game store in the Catskills, and they got a giant Joey Wheeler in the window, so you know that's a good sign. Okay, back at the Airbnb now, I want to show you guys my little shopping haul from this really awesome store. The place was ginormous inside, as you can see from some of the videos. Um, picked up a combination of some sealed products and some single cards that I was really looking for. So first single, quite obviously, the new Manadium Synchro Monster, Manadium Trisukta. Uh, didn't have any copies of those, didn't pull any from my Age of Overlord box. Uh, and then we have a playset of Visa Samsara, which I was able to get for like 5 or $6. Uh, that card quickly jumped up to like 16 17 immediately after I bought it, so I got really lucky there. I think Manadium topped, uh, a couple people topped the YCS with Manadium and that card price just shot up so i really lucked out i think the card has since cooled cooled down and we did go over the 40 dollar threshold so we got a lost art promo card i think this is probably the best one that they've done in a while dark ruler no more ultra rare lost art promo it's a very subtle change it's not that big of a artwork difference but overall that's a great one to have you can still play that card in the current game and it just looks really good and we got three age of overlord packs the newest set newest core set that is and of course a 2023 megaton still a couple cards that i'm looking for in here uh don't have nearly all the promos all right, let's start with the first pack of Age of Overlord. Okay, Ken the Warrior Dragon, Earthbound Servant, Play of the Tistina, Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, that's a mouthful, and a super rare Starry Dragon uh, Cycle. Next pack. Miracle of the Supreme King. Nemalaria. Ooh, okay. Secret Rare. Arias the Lab Labyrinth Butler. Uh, 
not pulled this secret rare yet from this set um i used to enjoy playing labyrinth i haven't played it in a while but it's a nice card to have in case i ever get back into playing labyrinth and as far as the secret rares go that is one that is quite valuable okay last pack of age of overlord Transcendosaurus, Wadkiyuki, Sinful Spoils. Wow, okay, so an ultra rare, secret rare and an ultra rare from three packs. Can't really complain about that. And Darkhold Dragon is a, a pretty cool one. Definitely not a valuable card, but I, I think it's a really cool concept of what Konami was doing with this card. Obviously Darkhold, a classic spell card. And I think it just looks really good. All right, we'll move on to the 2023 Tin of Dueling Heroes. Okay, so right off the bat, we're going to see our promo, which is the Enlightenment Paladin, I believe it is. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> probably the least valuable out of all of them and one that I'm not super interested in, but I don't have a copy of this. It's one promo I haven't pulled yet, so... That'll be decent for the binder. And we got three mega packs as per usual. All right, let's go straight for the first pack. Fair Welcome Labyrinth, Branded Beast as a rare. Carpidivum. Not sure why they gave that card an ultra. Runic Golden Droplet. And the Zombie Vampire, that's not bad. And Garura, that's actually my first Garura from the Megatins. Another Prismatic from that set that's actually worth a couple bucks. Okay, next pack. Reverse Jar. Kalupo's another card. I'm not sure why they gave that a hollow cap Castapel. And wow, okay, Kashtira Fenrir. That is the exact card that I was looking for from this set still. I didn't want to jinx it, but that's an incredible pull. The highest value card in the set currently. Could have picked these cards up for like $9 uh, on release. Should have known that was just too cheap for this card. It didn't really make sense, but nevertheless, we pulled one, so... I still have to trade in for two or just suck it up and buy two singles of that card. I would like to have a full playset, but that's a really nice pull. Libromancer. Another Exosister. Smile Potion. Albalanatus, uh, ultra rare. Beyond the Pendulum and Scarecrow Lightheart Prismatic. Uh, I already have my place out of that, but the Albulanatus, I am embarrassed to say how much I actually paid for that card uh, when it first released. I think the, I forget what set that Secret Rare was from, but I paid, I think, close to 20 bucks for it. Yeah, I mean, overall, I'm really happy with these pulls uh, from just a, one Megatin and a couple loose packs. I mean, Cashier of Fenrir, obviously the pull of the video, uh, made my week. That was the card that I was looking for, as I said. Zombie Vampire, not bad. 
And then, I mean, Arius and the Darkhold Dragon, an Ultra and a Secret from just three uh, booster packs. Can't really complain about that. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for coming on this little trip with me. If you watched this far, please consider subscribing. And we will catch you in the next one.